Are we streaming? Good start. Good start. I mean, good. I don't even. I don't even know what the hell just happened. I actually don't know what the hell just happened. That's a foul on Andrew Wiggins. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, hey. What the hell, bro? Get his ass out of the game. Come on, bro. What is that? What was that? What is that? Why is Draymond doing that after the whistle, bro? What the fuck was that? Oh, PJ Washington quarter three. To a wide open PJ Washington. Washington hits it. He's a 31% three point shooter. Wiggins underneath and through the hands of the rookie. All right, all right. We're, we're settling in here. I don't know what the hell just transpired. Kyrie pull up three. I'm honestly not entirely sure what just happened with this stream. And why it is as wonky as it is. Why is there no thumbnail? Good job by the Mavs defensively so far. Good job defensively for the boys in blue. This young man, Luka Doncic, is really as gifted an offensive player as I've ever seen play the game. When you factor in, he doesn't overwhelm you athletically, but he gets where he wants, when he wants. I'm thinking about taking my shirt off. And just feeding on the Doncic pass. I'm very confused as to what's transpiring. In assists in the league. And him and Kyrie have been playing so well together. Mavs with a nice 6-0 start. I know that. Luca three over Wiggins. Oh, a nice 9-0 start. Luca Doncic. Mavs defense doing well so far. We know this group will play defense. have gotten two feet in the paint with the ball and haven't even looked at the rim and that, that speaks to Gafford's ability with his size to contest at the rim. Thompson Play Thompson hits a three. All right, I think we're set. I think we're set. First points of the game for the Warriors. Gafford. This is... Steph, top three. Good rebound by Gafford. I thought that was about to bank in. That's what it looked like. I, they go quickly to P.J. Washington posting up Steph. He misses, but I kind of like that look. I gotta be real with you. Oh, yeah, Kyrie gets a steal. Oh, and then turns it over. Jackson Davis and, and here his screen creates that opportunity there 
and that's going to be important. That's something for you. Face Jackson Davis, man, fits in perfectly. Fits in like a glove with the Warriors. Started his screen there at the elbow. By the end of it, he was, you know, three feet past the three-point line. How does that make sense? I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure how you move that much when you're stationary. But, uh, hey, you know, the game's the game. Luca, bad shot. Offensive rebound, though. And Luca, nearly a turnover. PJ Washington, A1. No, Trace Jackson Davis is a good player for sure. That was a nasty dunk. To be denied, and that's the way to send the message. Great job on the fake handoff there, turns the corner and goes with aggression. And the crowd doesn't like it. Tough call. Steph definitely looked like maybe he was in position, but the official saw it otherwise. Warriors challenging already. Hold on, let me see. Turns the corner and goes with aggression. And the crowd doesn't like it. Yeah, they might win that. Don't call from the boss? Sorry. They might win that. I think that's an okay challenge. I don't I honestly don't even know what just happened with this with the, with the uh With the stream. I had a whole Dwight Powell bit going on and everything. And now it's just, I'm throwing out a whack a little bit here. All right. Is everything all right with the stream? Like, there's no fucked up details or anything? Like... Stream's good? All right, cool. Uh, a couple things across the league. And B, to me, there was a lot of limping going on. I, I, mean, I don't know. It, Obviously, he was gassed. Like, that was always going to happen. I I'm mainly talking about the way that he was moving, to me, did not look like somebody who was fully ready to be back playing basketball games. But I'm not a doctor. But what what, they, what the Sixers did, definitely some fuckery. Definitely some fuckery afoot. Um, just in regards to... In regards to uh, him being ruled out and then automatic, uh, he's playing. How is that allowed? I mean, is that, I didn't even know that was a thing that was allowed. He played 30 minutes and you saw the full Embiid thing on display where it's like, the full Embiid thing where it's like, uh, Embiid, four points at the end of the game. Uh, a, a trip to the free throw line that put the Sixers up by one, and then a trip to the free throw line that put them up by three. It was two straight possessions, man. I, just to me, didn't look like he was even attempting a shot, really. Like, full-fledged trying to get to the free throw line on both of them. Granted, one of them was a transition layup attempt. Uh, you're probably going to get fouled there. But I don't know, man. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's a terrible challenge. I, that angle right there, left arm out, kind of dragged him a little bit. If I'm, if I'm Steve Kerr, I'm, I'm having a conversation with my staff. I, we can't be making emotional decisions. Now they do not have a challenge. DJ misses the free throw, but, yeah, that's big. The Warriors are – we're four minutes into the game, and the Warriors are without a challenge now for the remainder of the night. Wiggins shooting over Luka. 
That's no good. Derek Jones Jr. rebounding. Luca already has a step back three tonight. This time he's spinning and missing. Offensive rebound. Oh, no. DJ Washington, a bad pass. Draymond to three. Way short. PJ chases it down. Draymond hasn't been terrible at the th from the three-point line this year. Oh, PJ, a transition pull-up? All right, let's reel it in, guys. Let's reel it in. Oh, that three right there was the uh, was Mint Luca. Now holds the franchise record for made threes in a season. So congratulations, Luka Doncic. Draymond gets an and one. Yeah, weak foul by Kai. And that creates that and one opportunity for Draymond. Tonight, Draymond Green becomes the number two sole possession holder of games played for the Warriors, breaking a tie with Chris Mullen. Second most in the history of this crowd franchise. Inside a Gafford misses. Bit of a rough start offensively for Gafford. No Kaminga tonight is a pretty big deal. Oh, no. Derek Jones Jr., bro. You cannot be gambling right there. You cannot be gambling off of Steph Curry like that, man. That That is bad stuff. Come on, now. Hey, bro, Draymond's already been on some bullshit, man. Just not interested in playing basketball. The guy's just not interested in playing basketball. He's interested in everything else he's got going on. Terrible fucking teammate. I will stand on business. Good player still, but just... Thompson picked up his first... A bad team. He's already slapped Luka in the face after the play was over. DJ uh, Washington has two and ones already, by the way. Kind of lost in the, all that. Exum in the game for Derrick Jones Jr. He's guarding Steph. Wiggins. It's a three. Kyrie goes out of bounds. Mavs tied 14-14. I did not think they played good at all so far. So that's a little encouraging. Very interested to see how these center minutes play out. This, that was a horrible, horrible lob attempt by Draymond. Turnover. Nice! Tim with the lob to Gafford. Good job, Timmy. Steph. Yeah, that's that's not a that's not a foul. You can't just run into three guys and pray for a call. Timmy misses a pull-up three in transition. Bailed him out there. Steph behind the play. We're pulling up for three. Wiggins to the free throw line. First in a two-point game, and the foul will go on Gafford. Come on, guys. You are making this shitty Warriors team look like the 2017 Warriors? No, they're not. Has shown the most progress is rim, whether it be protection or pressure that they put on the rim offensively. That's an example of a Gafford always running to get his head under that rim. And Here comes Dwight Powell. 
before you on that three-point shot. Foul comes in. Gafford. The goggles are gone, huh? Three-pointer. Steal and assist mean more with FanDuel. He said, hey, it's time to lock the fuck in. Download the FanDuel Sportsbook app. No more Mr. Nice Guy. And we're tied. Third tie. Golden State has never led. It's Exum. Who's been Exum. Well, careening off bodies. Lost it inside. This is at the rim. Jackson Davis got it. Curry looking one way. It's pulling the air. Wiggins with a layup. What a pass by Steph Curry. What a pass by Steph Curry. That was just a basic outlet. Luca, tough finish. <laughs> I tell you what, you, I love the level of physicality that we're seeing right now. In the Warriors going quick. Gotta get back, guys. Gotta get back. Can't be, can't be behind the play, yelling at refs. Gotta get up. Luca, ball popping. Beautiful ball movement, baby. Great look. Get back. Get back. Oh my God, Draymond. In terms of pace, Golden State is only 11th. Dallas is number six, but the Warriors want to run that ball tonight. Yeah, they want to play fast to make the Mavs smaller. And when they do it, they can have some success. We got a good one here in the Bay Area. God, man, uh, TNT is terrible. Th this is a bad broadcast. The the fucking dude, what is up with these with ESPN and TNT? The sound quality is so bad on the court. I can't hear what's going on. I don't hear whistles. I don't hear shit. It's so bad. I'm not even saying the commentary. The commentary is not bad, guys. This is how all national broadcasts are. Like, they talk about both teams. <laughs> you guys always do this. Like, it's going to be bad in the playoffs. What are you, what are you guys going to do in the playoffs when they have to talk about both teams over the course of a seven-game series? Same with the 199. These commentators are awful. I don't think they've been terrible so far. I do think that uh, the Mavs need to slow the game down just a tiny bit. Um, Warriors, obviously, it's a point of emphasis for them to get out and run. That's that's clear and obvious. So, uh, all right, the Derek Lively stuff. So I wasn't going to talk about this before the stream started, but I was having such bad technical difficulties. In fact, I'm not even sure what the hell even happened. Actually, I think I do know. I think on Streamlabs, I think I clicked the old stream on accident which happens i guess but um all right the Derek lively stuff concerned me greatly at first but then i read kids quote back and it does kind of sound like he was basically saying i don't know he could be out two weeks he could be back next game like that's kind of the way i interpreted it maybe i'm maybe i'm being a little too optimistic but that's that's what the way it sounded like to me Yeah, he basically was saying we're not sure. We're gonna we're gonna find out tomorrow. Like that's how I interpreted the quote. It wasn't like a yeah, he's out two weeks. But fucking Chris Haynes saw that and said Derek Lively out two weeks. That's just how I feel personally. Yeah, Lively being out the rest of the regular season would definitely hurt. That's why getting out the plane is important. You get a whole week off. Maxi on the floor with Dwight. 
Luca guarded by Gary Payton. Luca, oh, what a spin. Oh, the scoop layup with the left. Get up, Luca. Let's go. Get up, 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 up. Come on. Great layup by Luca. Gary Payton. This is and Kavon Looney. It's called for a foul. Incredible layup by uh, Luca. Luca's getting angry at the refs. He, he he just can't have to play tonight. I, it's gonna be one of those games. You can just sense it early on. He's gonna have to play tonight. Can't let him get. Can't let him get to you. He'll be fine. He'll be good. Seven already for Luca. That was a good contest too. By who was that? Looney. I mean, Luca just with the left. Luca. Fading, hitting nine points for Luca. Nice. Steph off. Her, or, uh, Chris Paul on. I almost said Kerr. Gary Payton misses a three. Tim chases down the board. Timsky called for holding Luca. Okay, I've always wondered. Maybe I'll wait for a commercial break to ask this, but I will forget. So I'll never think about it again. Luca, double comes. The patented Luca rip through, and that's going to be free throws. Anyways. And how he grew up in, in Jersey, of course, and he idolized Jason Kidd, who is now his coach with yeah. the Mavs. Yeah, he has a tremendous amount of respect for Jason, and I think that goes both. Uh, the the court the the courtside seats that are like directly next to the bench. Do you have to be like vetted for that, or can you just buy them? I've always kind of wondered that. Like, do they vet you? Where it's like, hey, dude, we looked at your Twitter profile. There's no fucking way we're letting you sit next to the bench. You can sit. You can sit about ten rows back in the middle of the floor. Your ass is not coming near a bench. Luca, one or two. Kevon Looney looks like he's wearing socks. Like it doesn't even look like he's wearing shoes. His, his shoes are so white. Chris Paul kicking out. Moody a corner three. That's good. <laughs> More free throws for Luca. Uh, by the way, guys, for the for the people mad about the broadcast and then like glazing the Warriors, they they have to hype up the game. They can't sit here and be like, yeah, the Warriors probably aren't that good. They're the ten seed. Like, yeah, well, you know, they've been really fucking disappointing this year. Like, they're not gonna do that, man. They want you tuned in for the game. They want the game to be hyped. Like, this is a national television broadcast. Slightly, if all the NBA teams were put in an all-out fight for their lives, who would win? Huh. The Timberwolves just have the size, right? I'm immediately thinking about the bigger teams. Timberwolves got the size. Think what you want about Gobert and Kappa. They're two big, huge guys. Jaden McDaniels broke his own fist punching a wall, so I think he's got a little, you know, a little anger streak in him that could be lethal in a fight situation. Good ball movement. Moody a three. That's no good. Rebound by Tim. Good box out by Dwight. Mavs up two with 220 left in the quarter. Kyrie back on. Kyrie and Luka and three bench guys. Keep this in mind when, when you see box score plus minus stuff passed around. Good ball movement. Timmy. Good look. Mavs getting some good looks here. Golden State, 9 20 shooting for the Dallas Mavericks. 
Loon Dog. Chris Paul, tough long two. Good rebound by Timmy. You live with Chris Paul taking those at this juncture. Luca. Pazimski misses at the rim. Good contest by Maxi. How did that go out of bounds off Pazimski? I don't know how the fuck that's Mavericks basketball. I've just got to be real with you. I think Maxi fouled it, and I think that went out of bounds off Luca. Uh, but all right, Luca, three. Good. Very high usage first quarter for Luca. Gary Payton misses a three. Rebound Dwight Powell. a little bit and that's out of bounds shot clock at 14. well and that's something we talked about earlier right that Powell and Kleber were playing major minutes for them this is the last 9 p.m start time of the uh, regular season unfortunately looking at the playoff seating the Mavs oh Kyrie with the left beautiful beautiful Kai uh Mavs will more than likely be playing a West Coast team at some point Chris Paul, it's a three. It's a not big shot right there. Luca got Looney on him. Luca, wild pass, Kyrie. Curry steps out of bounds again. I don't love the offensive flow here. I'm going to be real with you. It's it's a little too Luka dribbling the air out of the ball for me. And that's not what they've been about lately. Just a, it's a little too... Curry comes back. A little too stagnant for my liking. All right, get a stop here, boys. Chris Paul fading. Off shot. That's a really positive sign to see him having made a few shots. All right, Mavs down by one at the end of the quarter. Um, did not think they played well whatsoever. I mean... Kyrie didn't really do much. I don't. Luca scored some. I mean, the ball was in. Lu oh, what is Luca's usage rate so far in this game? It might be a hundred. Tough start for the Mavs. You know what it looks like to me? It looks like a team that's been on a week plus long road trip, and is uh with a bunch of travel. Eight points for P.J. Washington. He's had a couple and ones, so that's nice. Plus a three. Five turnovers for the Mavericks. Got to clean that up. Three by Kyrie. Two of them stepping out of bounds. So Chris Paul with five points at the end of the quarter there. Mavs three of nine from three. Hey, man. Good chance to win this game. Where's Lively? Uh, Jason Kidd said he's going to be benched. He didn't like what he saw from him. He likes the Dwight Powell look a little bit more. Let's see if the Mavs get into a flow here. Let's see if the Mavs get into a flow here. Luka, four of nine, one of three from, from I mean, 12 points on nine shots. That's, that's not terrible. You space that out on pace over the course of a four-quarter game. 
12 times 4. 48. 9 times 4. 36. Give me pass the ball, AK flow. No, not necessarily. Just a little bit more action. Really stagnant. And I think that's what they want. Made a ton of fouls already on the on the uh Warriors. Six in that quarter. Two on Gary Payton already. Really the only guy in foul trouble. Yeah, Warriors play small, so I mean Luca feels comfortable in these matchups. And I, I I'm not like too mad at it or anything like that, but uh Let's just see if the Mavs get some some flow moving forward. We've seen this team like they, they're not they're not really a first quarter team. Oh yeah, Luca and Steph's half court shooting competition before the game. That was funny. <laughs> I didn't see that part. That's pretty fucking funny. Moments ago, our Stephanie Reddy on the sideline across the way. Thank you so much, Coach. It's been tight so far. How do you do what you want to do on the offensive end here? Yeah, we got to take uh, better care of the ball. We got to get better shots. We have some great looks that just didn't go down. DJ, corner three. Tough oh. shooting start for the Mavs. They've gotten good looks, though. Looney misses. Gafford rebound. Good job right there getting back by Big Dan. Big Dan Gafford. Come on, Mavs. Kyrie misses at the rim. Bodies on the floor for the Mavs. Numbers for the Warriors. Booty passes up a wide open three. Great hands by Kyrie. Good work, Kai. A couple good looks so far in the two possessions the Mavs have had. P.J. Washington, open corner three. Now, we know the percentages, but... And then Kyrie just missing at the rim. You expect him to make that more often than not, so... Gafford? Gonna be a charge. Gafford struggling in these short rolls tonight. It's been missing at the rim. And Mavs are going to challenge this. On that side of the floor. I think Jason Kidd's going to challenge this. Early now. challenge. Like that call. All right, challenge a little more than a minute into the second quarter. Here Can we get a timeout? Real quick, TNT. You just came back from a... You got, fuck you. You just came back from a commercial. Is everyone's at? Why do we have to go to another one? You just got back from a commercial. You could stick here. You could stick here and give us a, give us a replay, man. <sighs> Pax Slovid. If it's COVID, Pax Slovid. One day you're going to see a slightly biased ad on the. It's COVID. It's it's. Bronny James transferring, huh? That that actually is kind of interesting. What were you gonna ask about at commercial? I already asked it, but it was about the courtside seats. Are, are we gonna are we gonna look into the Bronny transferring thing at all? Hey, I saw some people say Baylor like makes a lot of sense for Bronny. I saw people say that. Some random. Can't Kleber play the five instead of Powell? Not gonna lie, when Powell on the field, I'm slightly nervous. When Powell's on the pitch. I just saw one person say the Baylor thing. 
Look, uh, kid's gonna get yelled at by the fan base no matter what tonight. Uh, the reality is, is pa Dwight Powell, you could do way, way worse for a third string center. Like you just can. Um. Oh my God, these commercials. Like Maxi at the five, everybody shit it all over Maxi at the five. I don't mind Maxi at the five. It just has to be with other wings. I don't like Maxi at the five with four guards. It just, it's just a stupid, stupid lineup. Big Dan at the four. Who are you comparing to when you say that? Say what? Need, need Daniel Gafford to play better tonight. He's not played well at all so far. I'm not so sure about that, but it is bang bang. Probably shouldn't have challenged it, for being honest. Up, oh, Moody shot. Good job. Good defense there by the Mavericks. Nice. Great look away by Exum. Gafford with the slam. Yeah, great job, Dante. Exum. Good job getting over these screens by the Mavs. And Trace Jackson Davis dribbles it out of bounds. Good job, Big Dan. Good work, Daniel. Good job, Daniel. Kyrie driving. Good pass. Hardy three. I don't even need to see it go in. Bam! Load me up. Tough clay shot. Oh my god. Clay making these. Gouls! Gouls! If we lose, it's because you didn't shotgun a truly or beverage of your choice for Eulis, Texas. Shout out Eulis, Texas, man. I'll, I'll chug this. I'll chug this for Eulis, Eulis Texas. Good pass, Kai. Hardy. Let me see you go to work. Good shot. I honestly, I honestly like that shot for Hardy. I don't like the result. Play miss is good contest by Gafford, and a great job by Exum on the boards. Mavs really struggling, uh, converting down low. Moody, it's a three. Mavs down by one. Here we go, Kyrie. Beautiful. Love that shot, baby. George Gooney has subscribed. We gooning tonight? Chris Paul, Washington defends. Paul 
Chris Paul, get fucking serious, bro. On PJ. Trailing by one. The NBA on TNT Tuesday brought to you by Casamigos Tequila. Brought to you by those who drink it. And by Burger King. At BK, have it your way. You rule. Just think you can have a Whopper and some Casamigos. That would be a pretty good meal. Uh, uh, yeah. Whopper and Casamigos. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> That sounds like a di the dinner I want. Steph Curry and Chris Paul. Sneaks one in. Draymond Green off the bench. Draymond misses but tips it in. Little 7 0 run here by the Warriors. And Kyrie nearly turns it over. Hardy. DJ. Good up fake. Good drive. Just not converting. Numbers for the Warriors. Oh, wow. P.J. Washington. What a block. Now the Mavs have numbers. Kyrie misses at the rim. My pal gets fouled. Good job. This is a fast-paced, physical, intense game. And it's Chris Paul here on the attack. And nice yeah, great. that's great defense right there by P.J. Washington. Extending enough to come up with that block shot. So the foul goes on Moses Moody, number one on him. Here is Powell at the free throw line, 72%. Scoreless the last six games coming into tonight. Has a chance here to break that. With 7-17 to go in the first half. Sloppy game for the Mavs so far. Not, not finishing at the rim. Uh, not shooting the three balls well. Turnovers, missing free throws. Feels like a, f a tired team. This lineup is for the Warriors. Well, said, I, I, and I saw this earlier today, but the number one rebounding team, and you mentioned it earlier, and, and the shortest team in the league, number one in rebounding. For perspective, their average height is... Dwight O'Neal, let's go! Come on! That's a, you could I'm going to make your fucking free throws, man. This team has been trash at the free throw line lately. Come on, man. That shit's non-negotiable. Make your fucking free throws. Steph blocks. I don't know what he was expecting there. Hardy. I don't like where this is headed. All right, he passes out. Derek Jones Jr. and he gets stripped by Steph. Good hands by Curry. And Curry just throws it out of bounds. What on earth is going on? by step understanding that Derrick Jones not a great offensive player even though he's got a size advantage understand he's going to give him a chance to attack the basketball there great defense just unfortunately though that turnover in transition Kyrie is checking out Don should just come back in and Wiggins has the defensive assignment six and a half in the half Curry will double Doncic will feed and off the finger tips deflecting it out of bounds Gary Payton the second, taking a look at the upcoming national TV schedule, ESPN tomorrow night. The Thunder will be in Boston against the Celtics, and the Cavaliers will be in Phoenix against the Suns. For more on those games, go to NBA.com or visit the NBA app. A turnover. What are we doing, guys? What? Why are we? Come on. Good lord, Mavs look like trash. Let's go, man. Come on. I know you're tired, but. Luca three? That's way off. Yeah, I don't know about this one, guys. I, I don't like anything they've got going on at all, really. Defense hasn't been terrible, but. Not a fan of the energy. Not a fan of the offense. They're very sloppy. They look tired. Tough move by Steph. He misses. Pazimski a rebound because we just refuse. Yeah. Yep. 
Boom, Mavs down by eight. I don't know the last. When was the last time they scored a point? When was the last time they scored a fucking point? Just got a transmission. You're not subscribed to the Slightly Biased YouTube channel, are you? <laughs> You're a f***ing idiot, aren't you? No, yeah, yeah, you are. It's okay. Let's take a trip inside of that pea-sized brain of yours to see what's really going on. Yep. Just as I expected. Nothing. Listen, if you're ready to get your life on track, it's time to subscribe to the Slightly Biased YouTube channel. Daily NBA content, videos, live streams, plus... Whenever you subscribe, you join our wonderful community and you get to participate, participate in, the, in chat. the chat. Great point, Slightly. So what do you say? Let's make things right. Hit the subscribe button. You will subscribe to Slightly by You will subscribe to Slightly by You will subscribe to Slightly by I, I, honest to God, do not know the last time this team scored a basket, man. <laughs> they can't rebound anymore. Yeah, man, this, this game is for sure done. This game is over. This is a loss. Talk this one up for sure. For sure. Absolutely, this is a loss. You could sense it. You could just sense it immediately. 17 to 7 quarter. Offense is fucking putrid. Just putrid tonight. Mavs playing with no sense of urgency at all. A bunch of standing around offensively. Uh, they just they just look like they did not want to play this game tonight. Like that's that's just really what it comes down to. Uh, can't rebound at all. They've given up now three offensive rebounds, but two in the last 30 seconds have been absolute backbreakers. That have led to uh, Steph threes. So, uh, I mean, the, the offense is doing literally nothing. Literally nothing. And, and what, what doesn't make any sense to me at all is we're coming to set a high screen for Luka. They're trapping it. And the screener is just standing there. Not rolling to the rim to make himself available for a pass and get the ball in the middle of the floor. Literally just standing there. Like, what are we doing, man? This is just awful to watch. And this is this is why I, tell, um, I am monitoring this Kings game. This is why I tell you guys strength to schedule means fucking nothing. And looking at this stuff is stupid. Uh, Kawhi Leonard's not playing tonight. So the Kings get this ragtag Clippers group. And uh, wor the worst part, too, is this is a nationally televised game. So the commercial's happening. The Mavs are fucking shitting all over the floor. We're seething. We're upset. We're angry. We have to sit in a 50-minute commercial break.
gets rounds out west with a look at Steve Kerr, who's got his Golden State Warriors for the entire season playing their best basketball right now. Yeah, they, they really do, and it's been impressive. We know about the struggle. All right, let's see what the Mavs get out of a timeout. Can we get a basket, please? Here comes the trap. There we go. And Derek Jones Jr. gets blocked. I mean, Derek Jones Jr. has been atrocious offensively tonight. PJ has been atrocious offensively tonight. Gafford has been atrocious offensively tonight. Need these guys to not get blocked every other shot attempt. Gary Payton, good cut. Mavs down by 13, man. Just, just getting outworked big time. Getting, just getting worked. Kyrie, there we go. Thank you. You're only down 11. It's not like you're down 30. Got to close this half out strong, though. Yeah, that's he's unhappy with that call there, but it doesn't put him in the penalty. And you know, back to the, this Warriors team, this, this stretch defensively here and offensively has been impressive. And one of the reasons why they've got a lot of optimism. Steph, good contest by Luca. It's, it's a crazy tough shot. <laughs> Thirteen point game. Luca, step back three. Nice. Big shot, Luca. Needed that. Wiggins open three. That's no good. Luca rebound. Tim, come on, baby. There we go, Timmy. Nice. There we go. Move. When Luka gets trapped, you, there's got to be movement. Make yourself available. There was like four possessions in a row where Luka was getting trapped, and we're just... Am I supposed to be doing something, guys? Good job by Exum on, on Curry there. Yeah, an illegal screen on Podzimski. Hey, hey, Brandon Podzimski, bro. You, hey, honest to God, a sneaky, a sneaky, terrible complainer, Brandon Podzimski. Uh, bro, you can't just be walking around the court like this, man. I know you're on the Warriors, and I know that's what they probably told you. Hey, we made a deal with the league. We're allowed to do that. Not anymore, dude. You're not allowed to do that. You're not allowed just to walk around the court holding guys. And you can see here, tussling there with Exum. And I'm going to say he held a little too long on that play. So Exum and Hardaway, Kleba, Doncic, and Kyrie, the Dallas Five, approaching two to go in the first half. Mavs going small with the... Uh, with Cleveland, four guards. <laughs> uh, that's a terrible, terrible pass by Luca. Careless. Careless, careless, careless. Sloppy. For no real reason either. Steph. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Thank you. Good job by Exum there. <laughs> I thought they were worried about the call. <laughs> Ten turnovers for the Mavericks already. And Wiggins blocks Luka. Luka's foul baiting. This has not been a good Luka game. Kyrie a three off of a turnover. That's big. Come on, Luka. Come on, Luka. Come on, Luka. Come on, Luca. Do not get teed up here. Great shot by Kyrie. The, this is not a good Warriors team at all. Like, they've been playing better basketball lately, but this is not...
Gotta reel in these turnovers, man. 10 turnovers. You playing defense, though. Poops on Twitter said this is the worst they looked in the calendar year. There's no way. They, there's no way. Hey, those Pacers games were horrid. Those Pacers games were horrid. Five point game, a minute 21 left. Wiggins stripped by Maxi. Numbers Luca Tim three. Mavs with numbers. Good hit ahead by Tim to Luca. Good job, Timmy. Good job, Timmy. Not mad at the shot by Timmy. Just missed it. It's a good look, though. Open three. Clay Thompson ran off the three point line. Offensive foul. <laughs> oh, that's actually wild that they called that. <laughs> That's actually hilarious that they just called that an offensive foul. All right, Mavs have a two for one opportunity here. And now Kyrie. Exum. Fouled by Draymond. All right, just hold this now and get a good look. like the Warriors should be up 10 points, right? This quarter, they, they really dominated up until this last minute and a half or so where the turnovers have allowed Dallas to kind of get back into the game. Mavericks on a 10-0 run. They get it off. Kyrie and Doncic. And Doncic hounded by Wiggins. A three can tie. Out on the wing. Exum three. Hey, we are tied. Luka does a good uh, – Wiggins does a good job on Luka. I think Luca got away with the travel there, to be honest with you. Big shot by Exum, though. The Mavs have come back to tie on a 13 to nothing run. And Dallas had a foul to give. Look at Jason Kidd. With, uh, a Did Gary Payton II get, like, all of his mom jeans? I feel like he does not look like Gary Payton. The bonus three. Yeah. Smart substitution to get Luke out. Don't want him to pick up a stupid ass foul or something. Assuming that Golden State's gonna take the last shot. Moody comes in. Thompson gets and now gotta stay on Steph. Draymond just missed a dunk. Maxi, get it up! He got it up! Oh, <laughs> oh wow, we were somehow tied. I told you guys to never fucking give up hope ever. Just got a transmission. You're not subscribed to the Slightly Biased YouTube channel, are you? <laughs> You're a f***ing idiot, aren't you? No, yeah, yeah, you are. It's okay. Let's take a trip inside of that pea-sized brain of yours to see what's really going on. Yep. Just as I expected. Nothing. Listen, if you're ready to get your life on track, it's time to subscribe to the Slightly Biased YouTube channel. Daily NBA content, videos, live streams, plus... Whenever you subscribe, you join our wonderful community and you get to participate, participate in, the, in chat. the chat. Great point, Slightly. So what do you say? Let's make things right. Hit the subscribe button. <laughs> you will subscribe to Slightly Biased. You will subscribe to Slightly Biased.
You will subscribe to Slightly Biased. You will subscribe to Slightly Biased. You will subscribe to Slightly Biased. Just got a transmission. You're not subscribed to the Slightly Biased YouTube channel, are you? <laughs> You're a f***ing idiot, aren't you? No, yeah, yeah, you are. It's okay. Let's take a trip inside of that pea-sized brain of yours to see what's really going on. Yep. Just as I expected. Nothing. Listen, if you're ready to get your life on track, it's time to subscribe to the Slightly Biased YouTube channel. Daily NBA content, videos, live streams, plus whenever you subscribe, you join our wonderful community and you get to participate, participate in, the, in chat. the chat. Great point, Slightly. So what do you say? Let's make things right. Hit the subscribe button. <laughs> <laughs> You will subscribe to slightly biased. 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 Just got a transmission. You're not subscribed to the slightly biased YouTube channel, are you? <laughs> You're a f***ing idiot, aren't you? No, yeah, yeah, you are. It's okay. Let's take a trip inside of that pea-sized brain of yours to see what's Who do we want to win between Clippers and the Kings? It's a bit of a toughie. I, I just, I personally would want as much separation as possible. It's kind of how I work. Watching from Chase Center, you're in the building? Whoa, 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 wait. What's going on in this Nuggets game? Hold on. I thought the Nuggets were going to pull away. Is it time to start to get a little concerned about them? I know we've given them a huge pass for most of the season for saying, uh, like they're they're kind of uh, tank, they're kind of coasting. But Logan with the five, I think you have a bench of pie polar. One minute you say, "Gosh, this team is horrible. This team sucks balls," and the next you say, "Mavs are awesome." Uh, so this team sucks balls is not in my vernacular. Uh, I think that's a grotesque thing to say. I've, I've never said suck balls in any real significant way. Uh, this sucks balls, never been in my vocabulary. Uh, crap, never been in my vocabulary. Crud, I... Uh, if I have a child ever and he says crud, I will ground him permanently. I'd rather him say slur. Um, just not something I would say. Sucks ass, I think I definitely said. Oh, they went over 53 and a half. Luca, point rebound assists. He's at 25 right now. I think I'm going to hit it. You might sweat it out. It's definitely possible. You might sweat it out a little bit. Sucks butt. Don't know if I've ever really said that. Thought you think kid was trolling two weeks. I don't think it was trolling more so like we don't know when the hell he's coming back. Wimby two assists away from a trip dub. Ball with the 199. Kyrie tied the game. Wasn't it Exum? I don't think there's a scenario where I would shave my head, guys. Uh, tied up at halftime. How? I have no idea. The Warriors, if I'm a Warriors fan, I'm feeling very poorly about what just transpired there. Uh, Warriors jumped out. So I think it was a 13-point lead at one point. And just kind of looked like they had the Mavericks in a, in a spot. A spot where the Mavericks have not been at in weeks. Where it's like, they're kind of hanging on. And it's like, dude, we're tired. <laughs> like a, co a couple more body blows here and I might just tap out. By credit to the Mavs, they played good defense all night. It's really just been about the offense. Seventeen for Luca, five and three. So a good statistical game, and the end of the second quarter was much better. And I, I, I can't like, I don't even necessarily think this is necessarily his fault. It just felt like a game plan thing. A little too stagnant offensively early on. 
Uh, and then when he came back into the second quarter, a couple of his turnovers, I can't even really blame him. He was trapped and no one was moving. And no one was making themselves available. Uh, you can't, it's, it's hard. The, the turnover obviously goes to the ball handler, but it's difficult to blame the ball handler there. Um, Kyrie with 12 points. He had a good close to the quarter. That three he hit was big. Three turnovers for him. Mavs as a team, 11 turnovers. Got to clean that number up. That that can't be that big. That's a huge number. How much longer until the real crew is back for TNT? Like, damn, the, the college tournament lasts for fucking 50 years. Crazy that he's on pace for his average and have an off half. I don't know if I would say an off half. I don't think that's the best. And again, I'm not even really necessarily blaming him. I think just offensively as a team, it just needs to flow a little bit better. It's not necessarily like a Luca thing, if that makes sense. It's a Tuesday crew. Oh, today is Tuesday. We have a dilemma this week, guys. Um, so as you know, softball season is in full swing. Pun intended. Since it's rained so much, and we've had three games rained out already, which is the most I think I've ever experienced in a season, they have not, they don't have the dates to make it up, so they have to, they play us on a Friday. So, we have a softball game this Thursday and this Friday. It just so happens the Mavericks also play on Thursday and Friday. They have a back-to-back. -back. So, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do, because I don't really want to miss games at this point, Mavericks games, but I also don't want to miss softball games. Um, so... It's a bit of a it's a bit of a dilemma. It's a bit of a dilemma. It's a bit of a dilemma. Take one game off. I know, but here's the problem with that. Is I think the game I would take off would be the Thursday game. Now the problem is, is if I watch the Mavs they play the Hawks. Let's say the Mavs win tonight, and the Mavs win Thursday, and they decide Friday night, second night of the back to back, they say, we're gonna rest some guys. So then I, I I'm missing my softball game and and watching the the skeleton squad I, I'll have to think about it I'll have to think about it stream from your phone I've thought about it I don't think I have the equipment necessary to live stream uh, to live stream in person I don't think I have the equipment Okay, see, lost tonight. Yeah, I was watching that game. That was a good one. I actually watched the entire second half of the Bucks and, and Wizards game. Because I, I said, you know what? If the if the Wizards are going to beat the Bucks, I need to watch it. And they did. Uh, the Bucks to me, are... Wow, Wimby just blocked Jokic. The Bucks to me, are, are such an unserious basketball team. I, I'd venture to say, they, they're like, oh my god, Wimby just waited for a crazy putback, but missed it. I'm, I'm like dead serious. Paul, 499. Kyrie tied the game figuratively is what I meant. Okay. Yes. He, he, he had some he had a great close to the quarter. Is that an infinite money glitch right there? Misunderstand a, a donation so somebody has to redonate in order to make their point to get their point across. Did I just unlock an infinite money glitch? <laughs> two blocks and two assists away from a quadruple double? No way Aaron Gordon's not shooting that. I forgot where I was even going with my with my uh train of thought. <sighs> what was I talking about? Go to work, Wimby. Go to work, Wimby! It's a fucking A1, ref! Oh, the Bucks. I, I, they'd be a playing team in the in the West. They'd be a playing team in the West. I, I think I, I think the one through like seven in the in the West is better than they are. Oh Wimby! <laughs> oh, oh. 
Oh my god. This motherfucker, man. T to be fair, they did not have Damian Lillard tonight. So what is Wimby? Two assists and a block away from a triple, a quadruple double. He honestly could get that shit if he go. No way he hit. No way he just hit. Not a great shot. If this game goes to overtime, he has a decent shot at getting the quadruple double. Michael Porter Jr. No overtime tonight. No overtime tonight. That fan for life, living in San Antonio, huge Wimby fan. I mean, I'm a huge Wimby fan. I, I see, I, I, I know the direction this is headed in. And I, let me just be on the right side of history here. Going to be arguing with my children uh, 30 years from now about who's better, uh, LeBron James III or Victor Wimbanyama. Need a WrestleMania UFC 300 watch along? No, you don't. Uh, let's talk about this game uh, for the Warriors. 11 points for Steph on four of 11. Three of four from three. All three of those uh, are not not all three of them. I don't think two of them at least off of offensive rebounds. So the Mavs just need to clean that up. They've done a great job in the paint defensively. I mean, the defense was fine. Offensively, it's just a little wonky to start. Um, talked, uh, wa watch the, uh, wh what did I do last night? Let's see. Been watching the Rangers, watch at least parts of every game, played some ugly baseball today. Some ugly baseball. Uh, they'll clean it up, but just, just some ugly baseball that got played today. Hitting a batter 0-2 that led to, uh, Wimby for the tie. Hitting a batter 0-2, uh, a foul or uh, an error with two outs led to a five-run inning. Just a tough one. Non-competitive at bats. Watched uh, Iowa USC or Iowa LSU. Paul with the 499. Yeah, I didn't want to look dumb. Everyone think I was confused. Kyrie with Exum or something. Thanks for the donation. But wait. That that was Luca that hit that shot, right? Paul, let me know. No, I'm just fuck, I'm just fucked with you. <laughs> thank thank you for the donation. <laughs> that game last night was mid it wasn't close just Clark being unreal it was it was a great first half I, I was texting back and forth with my grandpa because he's from Des Moines Iowa so he's a monster Dude, bro that should be a shooting foul that should be a shooting foul in the Nuggets game that just happened why is that not a shooting foul um when we were texting back and forth that first, was it the first quarter or second quarter? First and foremost, men's college basketball needs to be four quarters. Two halves is fucking garbage. But beyond that, um, that 10-0 run LSU went on, I, I thought it was curtains. I, I thought they were too big. Paul with the 199. Laughing emoji. Thank you, Paul. You're good for the night, brother. I appreciate all your donations. Um, but anyways, thought LSU was way too big. Angel Reese was popping off. But Iowa, man, those girls can shoot. Led by Caitlin Clark. Shit was crazy. Yeah, yeah, after Angel Reese fucked her knee up. What, what did she go? She twisted her ankle. She was like one of 12. Her last 12 shots, so. 
I mean, I, I had more. I thought I thought at least the first half until Caitlin Clark took that game over was better than any of the men's games I've watched. I, I hate men's ba uh, men's college basketball. I really do. I can't stress it enough. It has nothing to do with the the style of play or, or the play or anything like that. Of course, it's a downgrade from the NBA. I can still enjoy it. It is the flow of the game that is so fucking bad because of how... Because of how their breaks are aligned. They have four guaranteed commercial breaks per half on top of all the other fucking commercial breaks. It's it's just four guaranteed TV timeouts. Plus, each team is guaranteed, I think, three timeouts a half. Uh, either way, it's it set itself up for like a million stoppages in commercials. And the flow is so terrible. That's why I dislike college basketball. It has nothing to do with the basketball and anything like that. I love you too, Josh. All right. Starting five out for both teams. Was a little bit interested to see. Kyrie puts the Mavs up three. Good start out of the half. Play. This down Gafford. Now Kyrie. Luca. Luca over Wiggins. Luca! The Luke Kai backcourt with two threes right at the gate. Good job. Good defense. Paul with the 499. This is a different Paul for those of you who don't know. This is a different Paul. Is that for just that Paul or all of us? Just that Paul. Vader style with the, with the two. Really just cut Paul off like a drunk at the bar. <laughs> Luca, another one? Too strong. Steph misses. It's been a rough game inside the three-point line for Steph. No way he traveled. I don't think that was a travel at all. Yeah, the Warriors do turn the ball over quite a bit. The Mavs don't. Steph, good closeout by Derek Jones Jr. Good job. Good rebound by PJ. Mavs playing with some pace. Luka. <gasps> Another turnover. Stop ball. Steph misses at the rim again. Luca up court to Gafford. He dunks it. Curse pissed off. No, Kerr's pissed off at his team. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was a terrible out-of-bounds call. Oh, my God. That was an atrocious out-of-bounds call, man. Holy shit. I, I, hey, Warriors fans always cry about the refs. Uh, I, you know, I think tonight they could have some gripes. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you. That's true, though. I, I don't think Kyrie traveled. I do not think Kyrie traveled, so. But either way, uh, the, the Warriors don't get back there, and you let Gafford get behind you for an easy dunk like that?
That was, I mean, I don't even know what they're calling right there. <laughs> like, genuinely. I don't even know what they saw. Got to, uh, I mean, I don't even know. I don't even think it could be an over the back. Trace Jackson Davis, like, wasn't even, like, he really wasn't even going for it. I think both fan bases, we got the refs. Isn't that how it's meant to be? <laughs> Denver did end up winning, yeah. If you're a Spurs fan though, if you're a Spurs fan though, I mean that's those are the games right there. Make him call for when the refs handed in the ball last year. We talked about that slightly earlier yesterday, that fucking game. What's it what's what's the new Zendaya movie? Dune? Yeah, we saw Dune too. It was great. All right. oh, yeah. Ethan with the 199. Our ball easy. Hey, bottom line. Austin Butler. Hey, thy knife. Chip and shatter. The, the commercial breaks are... Adam Silver. Reel it in, man. This shit sucks. We don't fucking care. What is this for? Oh, a cancer research, cancer research hospital. Okay. Sorry. That was uncalled for. I apologize. But, well, actually, it was a Bank of America commercial somehow. Okay. How was that? I, I had the audio muted. How on earth was that a Bank of America commercial? All right, that was a nice start to the half here. Up six. Derek Jones Jr., Putting some ball pressure on Steph the entire length of the floor. Wiggins picked up by Big Dan. Now Clay. Tough pull up three. Misses badly. And it's Mavs basketball. PJ. Throws it down. Good job. Go get it, Luca. Luca. Gets to his spot over Wiggins. Beautiful job, Luca. Much better flow to the offense. Again, I wasn't blaming Luca for that. I think I just think the whole team as a whole was just a little slow. Wiggins a three. That's good. Kyrie will pull up three from deep. Oh, yeah. Fighting on the boards. PJ's got to be a little bit more ready to shoot those, I think. Joe with the 199. We should honestly go for the six seed to play Minnesota. Uh, Luca, another turnover. And Wiggins. Not a bad foul by Luca there. Come on, man. Um, what the hell was I talking about? Good Lord, man. I'm, I'm all over the map tonight. If you're Golden State, you don't want to be demoralized. It's still a two-possession game. 
they've hit you in the mouth a little bit. Let's regroup here. And we're still scramble brained, scatter brained. To give ourselves a chance here, we just got to figure out a way to get our offense into a little bit better flow. Andrew Nowitzki makes both. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I was addressing the donation about potentially uh, purposefully going for the sixth seed. At this point in time, man, you you, you just got to win games. Kyrie, beautiful pull-up jumper at the free throw line. Uh, uh, you just got to win games. I mean, fuck all that shit. There's still too much time left. Play going baseline. Kicks it to Moody. Good job getting out by Kyrie. Weird spacing. Kyrie knocks it out of bounds. Subs coming in for the Mavs. Exum. The Dwight's got glasses on on the bench, but not on the court. Shouldn't Josh Green be back soon, by the way? Wiggins. Wow, tough finish. Gafford fouled on the floor. And was hit by Green, and he was trying to put the roadblock up in a second on Draymond Green. With 7.27 to go here in the third. Mavericks by three. Early on, they led by nine and then trailed by 13 to the Warriors. Irving. Oh, poked away by Moody. On the floor they go, grappling. Kyrie gets it poked away, but Moses Moody fouls him on the floor. Yeah, but that, those are the kind of fouls you don't mind. They're just being active and aggressive, going for that loose ball there. The right call Damn, you almost never see that called a foul. How he competes defensively. Dallas Mavericks trail number four. Definitely is a foul, but they just never called it. Two games the Mavs do in the West. They got a half game lead on number six New Orleans in the Western Conference. Luca doubled. Good pass to Exum. Good ball movement. Oh, Kyrie got to bail us out. Wiggins. What goes on with Wiggins, man? Against the Mavs, he forgets that he forgot how to play basketball. Does he remember that he forgot how to play basketball? Someone needs to remind him that he forgot how to play basketball. Good ball movement. PJ gets a floater. Nice. Uh, Mavs got to be ready to shoot these corner threes. PJ's passed up quite a bit. Exum's passed up quite a few. Steph, good job. Clay misses badly. Luca pushing. Mavs got some numbers. Step back three on the way. Boom, baby! Luca with the step back three. He thought he got fouled by Draymond. Big shot, Luca. And now Wiggins fouled by Kyrie. Timeout on the floor. Joe with the 199 and Kai we trust. Oh, wait, maybe there's not a timeout on the floor. Big Luca. Those are the all black Luca ones. Hey, I was rocking those earlier today, Luca. I was rocking those, buddy. I I would tweet it at you, but you, you didn't block me. <laughs> We're gonna have Maxi at the five here. Draymond's flopping, not getting a call. Kleba on an island against Steph. He actually doesn't do bad in this matchup. Yeah, that's a good job by Maxi right there. Numbers for the Mavs. PJ. Ah! That's good transition offense right there. Kleba gets up, seals off Pazimski. Luka makes the right pass to PJ, who's trailing just behind Maxi. Oh, Moody wide open in the corner. Yeah, I can't leave him. Luka doubled. Exum kicking, ball moving, PJ corner three. <sighs> Good shot, though. You need to shoot that. You need to shoot that. 
Wiggins. Bruh. Timmy. Oh, good pass. Luca drains a catch and shoot three. Timmy. Good pass. Timothy. Good flow to this game right now. Oh. Good cut by Steph. Good find by Draymond. Maxi three. Oh, how did that not go? Wiggins open in the corner. Ooh, Mavs look out there. Exum? Misses a three. Steph dribbles it out of bounds. Earth Month. Wiggins, Draymond, and Steph come off the floor. These are big minutes right here. Big minutes right here in this one. Luca. Fading. Missing. Luca checking out here. A lot of actions that Golden State runs with the scissor. Man, I was playing some really good defense tonight. Post, and they did a really nice, disciplined job of staying home. Jared Jones picked up his first for the Mavs. Paul Moody. That's a tough shot by Mo. Wow. That is a tough three by Moses Moody. Mavs need to tighten up defensively. No, no, I think they've been fine. I mean, that was a really tough shot right there. You disagree about good defense? Really? I mean, the Warriors aren't missing. They're 12 of 22 from three. How, how are they tied in this game? I don't know. Kings up 14 on the Clippers, by the way. I mean, really, Kyrie and Luka are doing their thing. 28 for Luka, 17 for Kyrie. Gafford with six points on five shots. Don't love that. PJ's got 12 points on 13 shots. Don't love that. Zero for Derek Jones Jr., zero for Maxi. Tim's got two points on one of four. Exum's three points on one of three. I mean, you're just not... Meanwhile, the Warriors... Steph's got 13. Wiggins is up to 19, but you got 12 off the bench for Moody. Chris Paul's got seven. They need somebody else to step up here for the Mavs at some point.
you guys haven't liked the stream yet, make sure you do so. It helps me out tremendously. Let's you two know I'm having a great time. 1,100 of you in here, 210 likes. That's just bad, guys. We're reaching the end of the season, right? We really need to be locked in and focused for the playoffs. I just feel like you guys are lacking a little bit um, just in terms of focus. And I feel like, I feel like I, I honest to God, and this is me just being honest, I honest to God feel like I deserve a little bit better than that. Do I not? You know, do I not? And, and tell me if I'm wrong, please feel free. Feel free to let me know if I'm wrong. All right, out of a timeout here. We are tied up in a pretty eventful game. Tim Hardaway Jr. wide open corner three. There we go, Timmy. The, I'm not going to lie. That was kind of a weird... It kind of looked like he airballed that. I don't know. That, it was just kind of looked wonky. A little weird camera trick there. Yeah, I like the ball pressure by Derek Jones Jr. Pazimski. Gets an elbow jumper to go. Mavs only have three timeouts left. Derek Jones Jr. three. No oh, good. Gary Payton misses. Nice. Trace Jackson Davis tried to save the rebound, but it goes right to Derek Jones Jr. Kyrie. Whoa, what a drive. Misses. That's a tough shot by Chris Paul. And the Warriors are up one. Got to convert offensively. Got to convert offensively. Kyrie misses a shot he usually makes. He misses again. Derek Jones Jr. misses a wide open corner three. Kyrie misses at the rim. Kyrie misses a baseline jumper. Chris Paul hits a three. <laughs> And the Warriors are up four. Not good. I mean, not good. Steph, Wiggins, Draymond on the bench. You got to fucking take the game over. Let's go, man. You can't, you cannot lose these minutes. Absolutely cannot lose these minutes. Hardy, that's, that is just such a... That is just such a bad possession, man. Hardy dribbles the ball for 15 seconds and shoots a contested three. That is so bad. Never, ever, ever. Never, ever, ever should that be a possession, man. Just genuinely never. So frustrating. Come on, guys. Do Get some movement going. Get Kyrie the ball. Tough Gafford minutes tonight. Just feel like there's no size advantage at all for the Mavs, of which there is, and it just feels like they're not taking advantage. And wow, this is a bad fucking quarter for the Mavericks. Bad fucking close to the quarter. Just fall asleep on Gary Payton, who dunks it on a cut. 9-0 run for the Warriors to close things out. You need a bucket here, man. Oh, frustration setting in. Derek Jones Jr. out of control. Great rebound by Maxi. Mavs can hold for the last shot. Hardy, wide open three. Come on. Yeah. I mean, just a horrid night from the roll, guys. A horrible night from the roll players. That's uh, as bad of a close to a quarter as you could possibly see. That is as bad of a close to a quarter as you are ever going to see right there. Oh, man. 
I uh, need one of the role players to not have a completely and total dog shit performance. Like, one of these guys is going to have to step up. Derek Jones Jr., man. My God. I, I, he's been a disaster tonight. No toys around it. Uh, Hardy hasn't been good at all either. Tim's falling asleep on defense. They're selling out to stop Kyrie. I mean, somebody's going to have to step up, man. The Mavs played good all quarter long. They jumped out to an early lead. And, I mean, that was an abysmal close to the quarter, man. Abysmal. With the Warriors bench in, abysmal close to a quarter. 14 turnovers. Turn the ball over, I think, four times that quarter. That's also horrible. 38% from three. Lucas 5 of 9. Kyrie's 3 of 5. Somebody do some math. We talked about this before that it's like sometimes those shooting numbers are deceiving because it's like, well, Kyrie and Luca are draining threes, but everyone else is bricking everything. Luca and Kyrie are combined eight of 14. So everyone else is four of 17. Am I re Is that right? Warriors have gotten huge performances from their role guys. Mavs have gotten absolutely none. No performance at all. No, no, nothing. All right. Come on, boys. Still, most certainly a winnable game still. This was very similar to the Kings game a couple nights ago where it felt really, really bad. And then fourth quarter, the Mavs just went barnacles. Going to be a little bit tough here. Only a six-point game. Warriors start with the ball. Need to stop here. Well, our offense has to help us a little bit more tonight. Our defense has been really good. Uh, but offensively, we've been a little disjointed. We've turned it over, and that's helped. Uh, Chris Paul misses. Good job by Maxi. Luca with the rebound. Luca three. Oh, God. I don't even think that got within 12 feet of the rim. Wiggins, long two. Luca rebound. Exum turns it over. Oh, my Lord. What a nightmare. Clay walks into a transition three, and the Mavs are down by nine. This one put a fork in it, ladies and gentlemen. The Mavericks just played horribly, horribly sloppy basketball tonight. And uh, can't really afford it. I mean, you've you've had a great road trip. You're not going to win out. But you can't afford to play horribly sloppy. And Maxi misses a wide open free throw line jumper. Somebody step up! Please! Roll, guys! Somebody's going to have to do something, man! Somebody's going to have to do something! Like, can one of you guys make a wide open shot? <sighs> wow, what a pass by Luca. 
Good ball movement. PJ. Nice. PJ hits an open three. Thank you. That was an absurd skip pass by Luca. That was an absurd skip pass by Luca for the hockey assist. Pajimski. Sidestep three over Maxi. <laughs> That's fake. There's been some fake shots tonight. That's unbelievably fake. Whatever. You live with that shot. He's missing that 90 times out of 100. Luka, incredibly tough shot. Wow. One-legged fader over Clay. Great shot by Luka. Chris Paul to Budzimski. Good hands by Maxi. Maxi, look at the effort by Maxi on defense. Oh, what a frustrating fucking game, man. Frustrating. I know the Mavs are playing so hot, but every loss I'm going to be very uh, uh, concerned. <laughs> I'm going to be concerned, like, oh, fuck, well, if we lose it the next game, we might be back at seven. I can't. Some very, very brutal Maxi minutes offensively. I mean, it's been nightmarish. Mavs down by nine points. Clay off of a screen. This is a three. Good job by Gafford fighting for that rebound. Ball moving. Luca. Nearly another terrible turnover. Luca, just shoot that. Come on. Just shoot that. Six on the shot clock. Kyrie. PJ. Wide open three. Need it. Yeah, of course not. Tim with the two. Why the hell is Maxi shooting more than Kyrie? Yeah, it's one of those Kyrie games. This one's... I'm, I'm very disappointed in this game, man. In this team tonight. Very disappointed in this team tonight. Just very, very sloppy, sloppy, sloppy basketball, man. Moody misses a three. Mavs can't get the rebound. Wiggins. Timeout Mavs. They're down 11. They have five points in the quarter. Just very sloppy. Really bad game for the Mavs tonight. I'll, I'll give them a pass because they're probably tired from all the travel and stuff. But, man, this is, uh, this is not a good performance from this team whatsoever. Whatsoever. This is this is a very 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 bad 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 showing from this Mavericks team tonight. Very bad. Very 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 bad showing tonight. Uh, I mean, no, PJ Washington's had an okay game. He's two of eight from three. Uh, I mean, the role guys were uh, have been a monstrosity tonight. Like, the, you don't even feel Gafford's size. I mean, give credit to the Warriors, I guess. But in theory, the Mavericks should just be overwhelming 
the Warriors with size. You don't feel it whatsoever tonight. Gafford's been damn near invincible. Uh, Mavs getting slaughtered on the boards. I mean, that should not be happening at all with this matchup. It should just not be happening. 15 turnovers is a disgustingly bad number. The non-Kyrie and Luka Mavs are, what is that, 2 of 9, 2 of 10, um, 3 of 14, 4 of 16, 5 of 19 from 3. Kyrie's got 17 points, four turnovers. He's been damn near invincible in this game too. Um, just a, a rough showing for the Mavs. Who started this game hot with nine very quick points. I feel like their offensive output just from a rate perspective since then has been really bad. 727 left. I mean, still time. Still time to go on a run, but it, it pretty much needs to happen now. And this has all been with Steph on the bench. Like, Steph, Draymond, and Wiggins checked out, and it was a... Uh... It was like a 14-point game, or a tie game. Or close to it, at least. Just getting destroyed by this bench unit. My God, is this the longest commercial break of all time or what? Welcome back to San Francisco. Today is World Autism Awareness Day. And part of what the NBA has been doing this season and in past has been trying to provide an inclusive experience for all fans, including those with sensory needs that attend games. It continues to be a priority. Here's a look at one of the pins that they have passed out. It's from Culture. All right, 11 point game. The Mavs just have not matched the Warriors' intensity and the Warriors' effort and energy on defense has just really thrown them for a loop. But Kyrie gets an and one right out of the timeout. That's big. Eight point game. Yeah, not not some insurmountable lead. But you got you gotta get it going now. Gotta string together some stops. Warriors have hit some very tough shots. And Looney turns it over. Good job by the Mavs there, both Gafford and Luca in the passing lanes. Now PJ drives and finishes and Kerr's going to take a timeout. Good job. Little 5-0 run here out of the timeout. Yeah, the pace of this game has been horrible. Why is Gafford guarding Paul? I mean, they're just switching. The, the length of the commercial breaks is obs it's obscene. Yeah, no, the Warriors have hit some really tough shots. I really don't think the Mavs have been that terrible defensively. Offensively, it's just been so sloppy. They're just not matching the energy. It's a frustrating game, but again, I'm, I'm willing to give them a bit of a pass. Like, their travel schedule has been brutal. And they're probably gassed. Like, we see teams on long road trips... Those last game, the last game or two, really, you can tell that they're on a road trip and it's coming to a close. Uh, I 
This this feels like more commercials than usual. Is there a reason for that? The third quarter, it felt like it went the entire. The fourth quarter, feel like it, the third quarter felt like it went the entire time without commercial breaks. I mean, there's only a certain amount of commercial breaks they can have. Obviously, you have like uh, challenges and stuff or reviews that might change that. Injuries, knock on glass. But there's only a set amount of timeouts each team gets. There's only a set amount of, of TV timeouts. It, it also doesn't help that it feels like there's been... In the first quarter, there was a timeout. We came back, and then the Mavs challenged to play like two plays after the timeout. So we had back-to-back -back commercial breaks, and that's pretty much exactly what just happened here. Mavs take a timeout. We come back. Two possessions go by. Warriors take a timeout. So that, that's part of why it seems so bad. But a very wonky, like just the flow of the game has been so wonky. It's not been a great viewing experience. Oh, speaking of terrible viewing experiences. Look at the upcoming action of TV schedule ESPN tomorrow. Thunder will be in Boston. Cavs will be in Phoenix. For more on these games, go to NBA.com. All right. Steph back in the game. He got a long rest. Tim Hardaway Jr. is picking him up. <laughs> That is a weird looking shot by Steph. Good rebound by Luca. Steph, was Steph foul baiting there? What was that? All right, Mavs have the ball. Six point game. Oh, Gafford. Beautiful. Kyrie Donk his sixth of the season. Beautiful cut by Kyrie and a great find by Big Gaff. Four point game. Mavs have also called a lot of timeouts. They only have two left with six minutes left in the game. Seven zero run for the Mavs. Great job, man! They got Tim sticking Steph Curry. I'm telling you guys, they think Tim's a good defender. Like this is by design. And Peyton, too easy. Come on now. And then great. The clock stoppage. State take on Purdue. Alabama will play defending national champion UConn in the NCAA March Madness. Uh, hey, I'm actually being dead honest with you, and I'm not joking. I didn't even know Alabama was in the Final Four. That's how much I checked out of the uh, March Madness. Kyrie misses Gafford offensive rebound and a putback. Good work, Gaff. Good work. Another shot clock issue. Oh, they got Dumont's at the game. They got Dumont sitting courtside. If you're if you're an owner, do you like? Is it just kind of known across the NBA? Like, hey, like uh, you get tickets to the games. Like everybody gets tickets. You want to come to a road game? You got a spot. Chris Paul misses. Ball loose. Offensive rebound. Been killers for the Mavs. Chris Paul. Kick to the corner. Oh. Mavs luck out. Good rebound by Luca. Luca with the hit ahead to Gafford. It's a two point game. And Curse taking another timeout. And Gafford's limping. That would be a fucking catastrophe, but he looks okay. They 
That's a great pass by Luca. Two point game. Gonna be a clutch game. Gonna be a clutch one. <laughs> another another fucking timeout. Oh. Pretty sure the owners can afford the tickets. There's no way they, the owners buy the tickets. I promise you that. There's got to be some type of. And just so you guys know, just so you guys know, if I'm not interacting with the chat, I have now resorted to uh, putting a thing over the chat because I, I put it off to the side so I don't read it because you guys spoil everything. But now it's gotten to the point where when something good or bad happens, there's like a, a quick little burst of chats. You know, the chat steadily moves and then something happens. Brrr, right? So I can see it out of the corner of my eye. So I know something's about to happen and I can't figure out the right. So I just... I have something covering it so that it still moves on the screen when you're watching, but I don't see it. Someone said they give Gafford his leg. I'd give Gafford my legs. I mean, they're tree trunk legs. Oh, wow. That was actually a very short timeout. All right, five minutes left. This is officially a clutch game. Gafford's still out there. I think it was probably just a little twist of the ankle. All right, five minutes remaining within uh, five points. It's a two-point game. This is called clutch time in NBA terms. And Golden State has made, it played more clutch games than any other. Starting five on the floor for the Mavericks, except Tim is in for Derrick Jones Jr. Def. Out on the floor. When you talk about clutch, you get a foul call there. Podzimski's in the game. Who's he in for? Well, Kyrie Irving has been brilliant in clutch time all season long. One of the very best. Looney, did Looney start the game? Over eight points a game in the fourth quarter in those scenarios. Gafford just picked up his fourth for the Mavs. You see the Mavericks with the best record in clutch time. Pajemski, he has played well, and they got a big plus in his plus minus with his play a tough three. No Wiggins rebound, and he turns it over trying to save it and bounce. Tim, wow, tie game. Tim got caught up in the air. I thought that was about to be a disaster. I thought he was trying to lob it, but he ends up finishing. And we are tied, ladies and gentlemen. Luca, all right. Wiggins misses. Ball's loose. Kyrie has it. Mavs can take the lead. Luca. PJ. Good fake. Loader. Way too strong. My God. That was nowhere even remotely close. Yeah, we got to make that. That's way too easy of a lead. That is a horrible shot by Clay Thompson. That is a fucking awful shot. It somehow rattles in, but that is so bad. Stings a little bit. That PJ just misses a wide open floater. And then that clay shot goes in. Tim. Poked out of bounds by Steph. Take a look at the standings here. Keep in mind the Clippers are getting blasted in Sacramento right now. So this is a huge opportunity to get within one. Kyrie, wide open three. Oh, man. Missed opportunities here for the Mavericks. DJ misses a wide open floater. Kyrie misses a wide open three. And now Draymond. Block. Goaltend. Oh, missed opportunities, man. Missed opportunities. Hopefully this doesn't come back to bite the Mavs in the ass. That's really, that's just porous defense. I don't, that, honest to God, might not have been a goal tip. That was really bad by Luka defensively there. He was literally doing nothing. All right, need points here. Need points here if you're the Mavericks. Luka, wide open three. 
So we have a PJ Washington missed wide open floater, a Kyrie missed wide open three, and now a Luka missed wide open three. I mean, you can't ask for better looks. The Mavericks just not hitting. Got to get a stop here now. Got to get a stop. Plays wide open for three. Short. Rebound Gafford. Come on, guys. You got to score here. Need points here, desperately. Luka. Risky pass. Foul on the floor. about as good a look as that's his third as he's going to get on that last possession. Keep getting good looks, guys. Come on. Keep getting good looks. Can't be mad at any of the looks you've gotten. DJ wide open in the corner. Holy shit. Well, I mean, if you're going to brick four straight wide open... Steph, ISOing, Luca. Luca missing. Baskin interference. Mavs down by six. That might do it with a minute 48 left. No one to be mad at but yourself. Absolutely nobody to be mad at but yourself. No one to be mad at but yourself. I mean, f four completely wide the fuck open shots. PJ with a chance to take the lead. Uh, I mean, the float, I want, like, just not nowhere even remotely close on a floater. And then uh, another chance to take a lead. Kyrie wide open three. Luka wide open three. PJ wide open three. Just not. I think this is a goal 10 for sure. Six point game with a minute 48 left. Again, offensively, you've generated four completely wide open shots in a row. Two for PJ Washington, who's just been atrocious tonight from the field. And one for Luka and Kyrie, your superstars. Still not over. Still not over. Need some points here, though, in the worst of ways. Obviously, a three makes it a one-possession game, but you don't necessarily need to hunt a three. And Gafford gets swatted by Draymond. This game's over. Draymond's flexing and yelling at the crowd. Oh, well, I mean, why is that? The sh that's just not a, a shot that we want there at all, I don't think. And Draymond fouled on the floor by Gafford. Probably a little bit more upset by this than I probably sh should be, but just, I mean, the game was literally right there, and I know that you've you've given yourself a bit of a cushion, but... I know you've probably given yourself a tiny bit of a cushion, but uh, look, man, the seven seed is still a complete and total possibility. Kyrie drains a three. This game's still technically not over. Luca just absolutely dropped the Wiggins, by the way. Up, up 
still put it in play, driving and feeding. It's Wiggins on the baseline. That's the end of the game. Defense just collapsed there at the end, but offensively, tie game. Tie game, uh, and you just poopied all over your, yourself. I mean, you just poopied all over your fucking self. I'm, 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 I'm a, probably a little bit more frustrated by this than I think I should be, but I'm trying to reel it in a little bit here. Mavs are going to lose this game uh, in, in a, a stretch where you really can't afford to lose. You're not going to win out, obviously. Uh, but guess what? The Suns... Oh, the Suns have this brutal schedule. They've been winning. Guess what? The Kings, they have this brutal schedule. They've, they're also winning again. Uh, but yeah, they, they clearly ran out of gas. Uh, the Mavs did. Mavs clearly ran out of gas. But uh, just really frustrating. A, a complete and total... Just right there right there and and you just diarrhea all over the fucking court man ninety two to ninety two Ninety-two to ninety-two, and then again, PJ misses a wide open floater. Uh, Kyrie misses a wide open three. Luca misses a wide open three. PJ misses a wide open three. All in four consecutive possessions. Matt Davis with the ninety-nine cents. Thank you very much. And then right there, like right at the end, you need to stop. How are we falling asleep in the corner there? Like if we're Luca, how are we letting a cross court pass happen that easily? And then just, you know, being staggered by it and Wiggins just blows right past you. Like how, how, how do we not, how are we not fully fucking locked in right there on that play? I don't know, man. I mean, crazier shits happen. You have to foul now and uh, hope for missed free throws, but. Yeah, Lively being out definitely had a bit of an impact. I see people uh see people mad at at kid. I mean, they got four literal wide open shots in a row and missed all of them. I, I don't really I like I, I don't really know. Wait, why did why did Clay attempt a shot? Why did Clay just attempt a shot?
I'm not gonna lie. I, I exited it out of this uh, out of the stream too, but we're, we're gonna keep it here. Go back to the stream. Well, let's see. Let's just see. I would love. I would love to know why the fuck Clay took a shot, though. Oh, they thought they had it. <laughs> they thought they had it. Play makes the first one. Now, even if he makes both, you have a timeout, could score very quickly and foul very quickly and still have maybe three or four seconds left for a miracle. He makes both. Well, that does it. Foul on a three-point attempt. <laughs> uh, they play again on Friday, right? Yeah. Uh, if, if the Mavs clean it up, they should have no problem beating this Warriors team. This is not a, a good basketball team. Like, it's just not. They're not terrible. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty. That's a pretty blatant travel. Yeah, that travel would have given the Mavs a chance to win the game. Uh, a, a frustrating night. I mean, all the way around. All the way around. You look at the standings now, and the Mavs. I don't know. I don't know what this is. How this is going to work? How how are the tiebreakers going to work in this scenario? Better conference record? Yeah, okay. So, the Mavs will still be the five seed, but with a Kings win tonight, they're now just a game back again. The Suns are just a game back. You do have the tiebreaker over the Suns, and I think after tonight, you will not have the tiebreaker anymore of the Kings because of conference record. So... <laughs> I don't think the Mavs know the tiebreaker with the Kings anymore. Not after tonight. Kings just got a conference win and the Mavs lost.
right? If it goes to conference record. I thought conference record was first before division record. Yeah, so it is division record? Then why the fuck are we talking about conference record? Oh, okay. All right. All right. So if the Mav Mavs take care of business against their the uh, Rockets, they'll have division. They'll have the tiebreaker against the Kings no matter what then. Division record, then it's conference as we in the same division. Okay. All right. That actually makes me feel a lot better. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, still gotta, still gotta beat the. Uh... No, no, no. Of course, we, we weren't gonna win. The Mavs were never gonna win out. And in fact, I, uh, I kind of figured they would split against the Warriors. Just a little frustrating how it panned out because it was right there in front of them, right there in front of them for the taking. And I, it's just frustrating to lose a game like that. When the game's tied, you have four straight. Just, I mean, completely and totally. Wide the fuck open shots. And, uh... No, the Mavs have... It's 2-1 right now, the Mavs Clipper series. Or the Mavs, uh... Mavs Warrior series is 2-1. After that one. The Mavs won both. No, Mavs go back to winning their next two games, and they'll be fine. It, it's just it's just stressful. This time of the year is stressful. You can't help but standings watch, you know, and then it's like the Kings won tonight, so it's like, fuck. Kings win, and you're just like, shit, man. Like, fuck. I just, I want some separation to where it's like, all right, we're, we're in the play, we're, we're avoiding the playing tournament, we're good. Like, I don't, I really do not care where the Mavs are seated in relation to the top six, as long as they are in it. That's all I care about. Kings winning is good. I, th I don't think the four seats really that obtainable. You, you'd have to jump the Clippers. If you won tonight, it's a different story, but you, you have to jump the Clippers by three games. Atlanta, Golden State, Houston, Charlotte, Miami, Detroit, OKC. So you, you think it kind of plays out favorable for you. And the Pelicans and Kings do play each other, so. And the Pelicans and the Suns do play each other. So there's like, there's world, like these teams beating each other, ultimately, like the teams behind the Mavericks currently, it's, it's good either way for the Mavs. You know what I mean? And the Suns play the Kings again, too. So like all of those outcomes are like somewhat good. For the Mavs. Some random of the 499. I was always afraid of this matchup. Wounded animals that at most dangerous. My hope is always one and one. Still hopeful for the fourth. Tyler B with the 99. Thank you very much. Look, the Mavs are better than the Warriors. They just are. They played a very sloppy basketball game tonight. Clearly were tired. I mean, credit to the Warriors. Their defense was really good. And their role guys really stepped up. Wiggins had a great game. Uh, Steph and Clay were both eh. Draymond had some big plays down the stretch. And Chris Paul had 14. Moody had uh, 12. They shot 46% from three. They forced 15 turnovers. They out-rebounded the Mavericks, even though they're just way smaller. Like, they they showed up. They will not be veteran playoff teams. I don't know how you can leave this game and think, like, in a seven-game series against the Warriors, if the Mavs aren't winning that. The Mavs held the Warriors to 104 points. And uh, the Mavs got next to Zilch, Zilch from some of the role guys. 
PJ had an okay game, but I, I I don't think it was great. Gafford felt damn near invisible, but that's that's a credit to the Warriors defensively. Luka and Kyrie both played pretty well. And then, uh, I mean, the bench was awful. Like Maxi offensively, he had some pretty solid moments defensively. I got to give him some props, but... You won the Luka minutes. You won the Kyrie minutes. I don't know what the deal is with, with Josh Green. Shouldn't Aren't we like kind of approaching when they said he'd be back? I need to hit up Nick to see if we're even... Oh, talk to him. I think I might go play softball on Thursday. But I think I'm going to miss the Hawks game. I think that's what I'm going to do. I just, I can't, I can't. It's not good. It's not supposed to rain at least. <laughs> Who knows though? Who knows? That was a great block at the end by Draymond. You got to give him some props. Let me do my one word reaction, then I'll get out of here. Yeah, the, the Hawks aren't some pushover. So you got to come out and play that game. I mean, you should win it. I saw the clay travel. Quick one word reaction. The Dallas Jackson. Quick one word reaction. The Dallas Mavericks winning streak is snapped with a uh, 104 to 100 loss to the Golden State Warriors. I thought this looked like a team that was on last night. Of a trip with some very strange travel sprinkled in there going from the West Coast back to Texas, back to the West Coast. Uh, I kind of looked like it. Some tired legs, you know, not the same energy that we've grown accustomed to seeing with this team over the past month or so and it's not like it was terrible though you know it's just like by the end you could just kind of tell it felt like tired legs it wasn't necessarily that they were checked out which is when we really get frustrated with them just they looked a little bit tired right so i'm willing to give them some bail i'm still a little bit frustrated with this game maybe a little bit more frustrated than i should be because it was right there for the taking 92 to 92 you clawed your way back and tied the game and man you had four great incredible looks i mean you can't ask for better looks pj washington i mean misses a floater really badly and then uh kyrie misses an open three luca misses an open three and then pj misses three you know uh in that moment those are tough misses when you're generating it's hard in the clutch to generate great offense and you generate four very good looks in a row and you miss all four of them and uh i mean that was pretty much the game right there you dug yourself a little bit too deep of a hole and you made it kind of interesting at the end play probably got away with the travel i thought this was a pretty poorly officiated game so you know whatever I, I can't point to that and say that that's the reason the mavs lost because i thought the mavs got the bit quite a few in this game that that went out of bounds call i don't know what the fuck they were looking at but anyways um a, a tough night for the role guys i mean that's just you look at the warriors and the production they got from the people not named steph curry who was just not very good in this game uh wiggins had a great game in this one somebody has to remind wiggins how to play basketball not remember against the mavericks draymond made some big plays down the stretch chris paul turned back the clock incredibly annoying but was just moody four of six from three podzimski had some tough shots you know uh they got some pretty good performances from the role guys and on the other end on the other side the mavericks just 13 for the mavericks seven from him 
three from Exum, three from Hardy, nothing from Kleba. Had some moments in the game, but offensively. Gafford, the, Ma the Warriors did a good job. Uh, you know, the Mavericks obviously should have a size advantage here with Gafford, and it didn't feel like it at all when he was on the court. Derek Jones Jr. had a really, really tough game offensively, and really everybody outside of Luke and Kyrie were. You can just kind of tell they're tired. Pretty frustrating because it was right there. I mean, you had you had another one of these wins where it's like on the road against a team that needs to win. We did not play our best basketball and we walked out with a win. Like that was right there for the taking for you. And again, those four missed shots in a row, just brutal. You got killed on the glass. Uh, again, that just didn't feel like you matched their intensity and effort at times. Uh, and some defensive breakdowns late in the game that's like, can't have those. I know, I know they're probably exhausted, but uh, anyways, you know, I see a lot of people mad at kid. Look, you, you got four really great looks at the end. You know, you generated good looks all game. It was another one of these games where if you take out Luca and Kyrie's shooting numbers, the rest of the team shot like absolute garbage. So, you know, a tough night offensively. Bounce back, keep winning. No lively, no win. I'm not entirely sure how much lively would have affected the game. I'm just being honest with you. Very, very hopeful. Very, very... The pal minutes are brutal. Very hopeful that he's back soon and it's not two weeks. Max, he was fine defensively. It was a train wreck offensively, though. All right, guys. Thank you all for coming out. All of the OGs, you guys know I love you very much. Um, probably going to drop a video tomorrow. I don't think I'll do a video on this game. I'm, I'm doing a power rankings video tomorrow, I think. Um, yeah, power rankings video tomorrow. Going to play softball on Thursday, and then we'll see about Friday. Uh, so do not think I'll be streaming on Thursday unless there's a freak fucking thunderstorm that pops up out of nowhere, which is always a possibility, I guess. No subscribers, thank you guys. Or new subscribers, thank you guys very much. You will not regret it. Donations members, thank you guys so much. You never have to do that, but it helps me out tremendously. It makes me feel so good. Is it supposed to rain on Thursday? No, don't, don't fucking tell me it is. It's not. 77 and sunny. <laughs> all right, anyways, guys. Thank you all so much for coming out. We'll talk to you guys later. Probably, probably not going to have time to do it slightly early. It's just fucking a, a, br a brutal time. A brutal stretch here. Love you guys. Enjoy the rest of your night. Bye.